Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the student management system. Uh, this is tutorial part one of the student management system project in ESP.NET Core. So uh, the name of the project is also uh, on the name of the student management system. So shortcut is used uh, sms.wab because uh, I'm creating uh, a web applications. So this is things. Okay. So now the first thing uh, in the project is the model. So design a model uh, for the um, student management system. So in the student management system, actually we have three uh, users actually. So the first one is the user and the second one is the teacher and the third one is admin. So by application user class you can add some extra features uh, it's really, uh, or you can say extra characteristics of the students and extra uh, characteristics of the teacher also uh, so you can add it like the string name age birth date because the identity user does not contain the a name age birth date these data so you can add that data in the application user class and that application user class is uh, identity user. So in this project, uh, I'm using identity class, or you can say identity package. And that uh, um, solution is uh, under the uh, ASP.NET Core 2.0. It's not under 2.1. It's uh, um, uh, it's have in 2.0. Okay, so these are the um, uh, characteristics of um, the students that is name, age, birth date, address, enrollment number and the father name. So uh, the enrollment number is not linked with the teacher, you notice that. But the student is also hold that property that is enrollment. Okay, now the second model class is related to your branch, student branch like the electronics like the electrical like the uh, computer science etc so in that um, uh, in this property uh, in this class uh, we can add two properties that is the name and the title you can say and the id property the third model is directly related to your uh, courses so student courses, um, which uh, courses uh, the student teach, uh, uh, sorry, study. So the, in the course table, we have some properties like ID, the course name, course code, uh, okay. So, so this, uh, these are the property in the course. Course title also. And uh, now another is the it's related to your uh, course type also because a course uh, have um, practical as well as the theoretical and both uh, and related to uh, the both also so uh, the course code is related to theory is related to practical and both it means practical and theory in which you can include it so course type is the type of the course you can uh, add the property type of course okay now the third uh, the fourth model is related to your student course in between table student and the course the student is actually exist in the application user and the course is the new table that is previously uh, created and that table is hold many to many relationships so that is the between table you can say business logic id not and the application user id in which you can add that that is the application user id it means that it is the student okay and that is the date time and on one date the, these are the extra data on that table okay that is the course id so these are application user id and the course id 
that is the um, linking between the student and the course okay now the another table is uh, linking with that table that is the teacher and the courses so you can uh, use a teacher course table in which you can add application user id as well as uh, the course id so in this uh, video tutorial only i am creating a essential uh, essential uh, class that uh, that is related that is related to your uh, so uh, year okay uh, so uh, id and the name okay thank you